Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 17th to the 18th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Leo. Next 48 hours for Leo, April 17th to the 18th of 2023 for Leo. I don't know why I got the doctors, but I saw like, you know, those skeletons that they have hanging on the hook and, um, is it biology? So you could be going to school for medicine or something. Blackbird omens, wolf communication, newt urgency. I don't know why I'm getting Newton's law. Is it physics? You're studying the body in the next 48 hours whether it's because you want to do it as a hobby or an interest or you're going to school and the next, ugh, overall energy is moth caution i'm sorry y'all my speech has just been all over the place but we're gonna go with it in the next 48 hours it may come sooner than that someone's coming at you really fast or they want you to do something really fast or they're like being really fast with communication so you may want to take your time to reply to someone so you be cautious yeah take your time to double check over emails or messages that you're receiving from someone because i feel like if you rush through something whether it's reading what someone said or sending something you may um, misread or skip over or not see something Something seems urgent, but it's telling you to take your time on it. So let's get to the tarot and see what this is for Leo. I don't know why the car wants to do a handstand, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ace of Cups, The Magician, Gemini and Virgo, Three of Pentacles, so someone wants to work with you, could be a Gemini or a Virgo, The Hangman, Pisces, and then look at the body here. <laughs> Overall energy is the Hermit card, Virgo. So you could be dealing with one or have it highly aspected, it could be a Leo, Virgo, Cusp. We're dealing with one. This person wants to work with you in regards to like, yeah, this card even says teaches natural and planetary sciences, lights, corpse lights above graves and moves bodies so the souls may be stolen. Okay. <laughs> So you could be working with a philosopher or a Pisces in the next 48 hours. Or someone's going to inspire you to focus on this. Alchemy. I don't want to get too like spiritual. Let me make it more direct. <laughs> You're working with someone in regards to the body in the next 48. Whether it's exercise, whether it's diet, whether um, I'm seeing the periodic table. I feel like someone has a crush on you and they want to work with you either someone at school or at work let's clarify they could be like hey you need to come meet me at the library right now or real quick or something but spirit's telling you to be cautious about working with this person or what you could discover i hope y'all didn't hear my stomach growling i need to go eat after this <laughs> I was thinking about tacos as soon as I turned this on, like Taco Bell. <laughs> so you could be over on the five of swords. So it could turn into a conflict or competition. If you work with this person, they may become upset. So like, say for instance, someone's been um, in school for something for seven years. Like the person who wants to work with you, they've been in school for this for like seven years and you've only been doing it for one or two or your entry level. You could look at this paper that they've been working on for years or I don't know, decades. They've been studying something for like much longer than you. Or maybe you know absolutely nothing about it. 
and you show them something and within like 48 hours, you discover something that they could have never guessed in a million years or something that would take them um, three times as long to study or it should take you three times as long to study or research. And this person wants to fight with you for the idea or cause conflict or angry because you discovered something that they feel like they should have discovered. Because we have the five of swords, seven of swords, three of swords, and temperance with the magician. Yeah, someone's jealous because you discover something and they feel like they should have discovered it. This is like you, um, like a child going out and picking up, <laughs> say you're like excavating something and an archeologist who's been doing something for 20 years goes out, like combs a whole area and they find nothing. But a kid just trips over something and discovers like, I don't know, the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> and they get a Nobel Peace Prize. And the archaeologist is fucking pissed. They're like, hey, I deserve that. It was my land. I've been combing over this area for years, like over 10 times and found nothing. This kid trips over something and gets stuff. Like what? It's something like that. Like you accidentally discover something and it's out of pure interest. It's like someone puts you on to like philosophy or anatomy and you come up with an idea that they could have never guessed and they're fighting for you to claim like they deserve the rights to it that's what i'm seeing it's something like that i hope i made sense clarifying the ace of cups is the nine of wands king of wands now it's like you don't want to work with this person anyway I feel like you have your own passion or desire to focus on something you want to work separately. The Nine of Wands is guarded and you're persevering against this Ace of Cups or you're just focused on doing it by yourself. Clarifying the Magician is the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you don't want nothing to do with this person because I feel like they want to take credit for something you discovered because for some reason they feel like they have seniority, maybe. Knight of Pentacles. None of that matters if you weren't the one to do it. Like You did it, so it's your work. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. It's like someone wants to take, they want to put their name on your work, something you discovered. They're trying to convince you to let them have it. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles is the Nine of Swords. And yeah, they want you to work with them. Ten of Wands, but it's a heavy burden. You're like, no. Either because this person wants you to do all the work. So the roles could be reversed and you could um, know a lot more about this topic than they do. And that's why they want to work with you. But you know you would be doing all the work. Clarifying the hangman is the six of swords. You're not. Yeah, you're not doing it. <laughs> Eight of swords. You're letting it go. So if you were overthinking or having anxiety, worry, sleepless, I feel like working with this person is giving you the nine of swords. And the moment you let it go and you don't work with them, you get the 10 of like 10 of wands. This person's trying to convince you that working together would be better. So We have the Five of Swords, conflict, competition, trying to win at all costs, Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing the world, closing a cycle. Could be dealing with an air sign, strong Aquarius with the Seven of Swords, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, someone from your past. Hermit card, Virgo, Four of Cups, yeah, disinterest, the moon, secrets, Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone could be trying to steal your work. To kind of compete with you in order to steal your work. Maybe someone's trying to argue with you tell you you don't know anything to trick you into um, divulging information to see what you're working on. Someone may want to work with you in order to just see what you're working on or steal your idea. Or after working with you for a little bit, they separate, steal your idea. Or someone's like, they're trying to bother you or argue with you or compete with you until you just give in because you might think it's better to just work together. It'll be less stressful to just work together. It's telling you to be cautious about working with this person now with omens and new urgency. I don't think you should. I think it would be best for you to work alone. Let me get you a final message for Leah. You don't need this person. 
they need you or they see you as competition. This person's got like a, you're either with me or against me mentality as well. Doll, illusion, old wounds, childhood, skulls, transition, reality, grief. So Scorpio could be involved. Snail, taking your time, the sacred fragility. I almost said snow. Peacock, splendor, the divine craving. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.